most famous skateboard slam for sure. Jake Brown on the mega ramp. Can't believe he's alive. I can't believe it wasn't worse for Jamie Foy. It's not the real footage of it, but Arno's intro to his flip part. Flips hard. Oh, most famous slam? It's probably the random attempt on that double set from Match Logger in the rain where he just flop. Oh man, that was the heaviest slam we've ever seen. Jake Brown, X Games, flying up and hitting the flattest shoe flying off. I was there. We all had our shirts off and we were, Jake took that slam and we were like, shirts back on. Ooh, shoes off, lights out. <laughs> Dave Duncan. Shoes off, lights out. Jamie Foy's 50-50 where he just gets stuck and pitched to his face. Change came out of his pockets. They called it Sonic because he hit and all the coins came out. Duffles the face, kind of looks like mine. You know, the preemptive to mine. It's funny, a lot of people mention that. It's like, hey man, it's just like the Cory Duffel fall. Shex's his face melter where he snaps both his ankles and his spine. Bro, Dan Pajot, for sure. Switched from Bord El Toro. Scorpion, I don't even know how he scorpion the way he did. It like hurts to watch. I don't like twisted ankles and sex can be funny though. Welcome to hell. I think it was the first like buck wild fall section ever in a video. They like did like a national search of the most buck falls. Jamie Thomas, Scorpion, welcome to hell. Yeah, I saw that. I was actually there and watched it happen and everyone went, ooh. There's a lot of worse ones, but I'm gonna say the Jamie Thomas Leap of Faith. It has its own name, the Leap of Faith. What makes it extra cool, it's the last trick in his part and it's a slam. It might be Matt Schlager's double set huck in the rain with all the homies from school, like on lunch break. Yeah, he tried it and he didn't, he, there was nowhere close. Yeah, he came up so short that it was shocking. There's people that die from way less. I mean, the one where Arto went to feeble grind, that was a terrible slam. That little like, animation of him falling, getting carried out on the stretcher and stuff. Neil Mims took it to his face on that rail in Denver and they still call it the Mims rip. Neil Mims, 50-50, that was shocking. That's iconic slam. Lizzie Armanto not clearing the mega ramp and falling 30 feet down. Me two weeks ago because I'm still feeling it. Touched my chin to my belly button and then to my butthole. Teeth Kershart kickflip this gap. He doesn't land it, but it's such a hard slam that it is just as good as like a make. He would slam and there was no like trying to get out of it. He would just like, oh, here goes. Boom! That one, that kid who just fell off a roof or whatever, and he's like trying to 180 it. Ali Bulala tried to ollie from an apartment building, broke his arm, compound fracture, like bone out. Me and Gom's over the car was a pretty gnarly one. Easy, Jake Brown. I just thought I watched my friend die. It's also the longest slam that's ever happened. Anybody else would not have recovered from that fall. So if that was Tony Hawk, that would be a dead Tony Hawk. Unbelievable in person. Hearing his body hit the flat bottom, dude, was like, it had to have been, what are we talking, 50 foot drop, 60? It was almost like when Big Boy, when I took him to Tony Hawk's rim, he tried to drop it, and it was like about that loud. <laughs> I think that's what the appeal is of a great slam, is like you gotta put it all on the line, ride or die, to achieve those great heights. Matt Schlager's double set attempt is, it's gotta be the most notorious. He might as well just ran and jumped down the thing. He just bounced off the second set of 12 stairs and he just got wrecked. You could tell he wasn't going fast enough to make it. So that was the thing, like, can this guy even do this in dry weather? It was raining when he tried it. Even more badass. Holy shit, rock and roll. That has to be the most famous slam because of the ridiculousness love. Because I was going to say maybe it's Bam sacking Point Loma because I was in CKY. Oh, no. The most famous slam is Jake Brown. Duh. It's the most watched clip in X Games history. Which, by the way, those two slams probably are like taking up all of the marketplace of slams. Like everything else that we do, every other slam that we have is like 0. .000 something percent known slam because they took up the whole market share. I am. Is he crazy? He's insane? Yeah. Ultra insane? Like, yeah. that's tight, isn't it? It's all right, dude. Evil Knievel broke all his bones and he was all right. <laughs> I think. You know, if he would have landed it, it would have been crazy, but the fact that he landed in the middle of the stairs on the second one. <laughs> Jamie Thomas once told me that falls are sometimes worth more than the land. Actually, Chad Muscat told me that too, so. You know what, I don't even think it's my worst fall. He's got a lot of gnarly slams too. His early videos are just heavy. There's a video on, online, Matt Schlager's Greatest Hits, and 
It's to be watched. Uh, my name is Matt Schlager, and I'm a skateboarder. Rock and roller, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, man, my little brother, he was like, dude, you have so much footage build up and all the falls are so funny and you're fat, dude, it's funny. And I'm just like, all right, dude, what do you want? And he's like, I'm just gonna make a video part of three minutes and whatever seconds of just falls. And I was like, okay. He's like, I'm gonna call it Matt Schlager Falls a lot, which I think I came out with four falls a lot videos, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, so I can skate this five stair and bust my teeth or I could skate this 12 stair and bust my teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the 12 stair and bust my teeth because it's gonna look cooler, you know? And you just roll over and you're just like, oh, hopefully nothing's broken. And then usually your camera guy's there, he's like, you got another one in you! And you're like, yeah! Next thing I know, I'm like rolling over. I like broke this cheekbone. This tooth popped through this lip. I broke these three teeth right here. Scarface now, you know? Comes with the gig, you gotta pay to play this skateboard game, you know? Chow down on some 12 stair handrail. It's just what I wanna do, you know? I met Fiddy and one day he just hit me up randomly, you know? He's like, yo man, would you be stoked with your name on a Baker board? And I was like, oh, that's the dream, man. 13 flat 13, it's just ridiculous. 13 stairs with the flat in it. Another 13 stairs is like 26, bro. It's the biggest stair set right now, 25. It's almost max that, you know? Well, that was my high school that I went to at the time and I finally met some dudes that were good and they were like, it's the biggest stair set ever, dude. No one's gonna try this stair set. You don't got the balls, you're too fat and stupid. And then one day I was just like, all right, I think today's the day. It was my senior year. Last year I was probably ever gonna go back to that high school. And then it just starts full blown rain. I was just like, if I don't do it now, you know, I'm probably never gonna do it, you know? So that day at lunch, I was just like, all right, dude, it's, it's, we're going for it. I roll up to it twice. There's like 30 people out there. The whole lunch comes out for this. I just got all the speed I could right when I was about to go. I was just like, man, this thing's huge. I don't think I'm going to make it to the bottom. I flew uh, maybe down like 24 of them, rolled down like, you know, six or seven of them. It's so fucking cold out. Balls out! I'm fucking shaking, Matt. Go, I am. Oh, Fuck yeah! People are always like, oh, this is the craziest fall of all time. Is it though? I got up and I went back to school after that. You know, I finished the day of school and I never heard anything back from any of those dudes ever since. What do I care what these guys think? They wouldn't have the balls to try 10 stand unless 30, you know, 25 or whatever. That was the sickest thing I've seen in my life. I mean, I would like to go back and do it, but sometimes I think about, you know, if I did make it to the flat, maybe I would have even broken both my feet or something, you know? Pretty big dude, I'm pushing like 230, so. My friend uploaded it to YouTube. He would always be like, oh man, I'm getting all this crazy stuff. One of them was scarred. That would have been the first show that I would have ever been on, but they didn't take my submission because they didn't think I got scarred enough or something. Jacoby called me on the phone and be like, this is Jacoby, bro, from Scarred. So what happened? Did you break your leg? You break your skull? And I was like, nah, I just got up and went back to school. And he goes, okay, man, we'll let you know. And you never heard anything back from it. But a couple years later, I got a message. We got Rob Derrick from Fantasy Factory and it's gonna be this whole thing. So, you know, I send her what I got and she's like, you got gold. <laughs> we love this stuff. You're gonna meet Rob Derrick and all this crazy stuff. I've talked to Jaws a couple times and I was like, bro, you should go do it. Would I ever try that set? No, I would not try that set. <laughs> what do you think is the most famous slam in skateboarding history? I still think the X Games Drake Brown fall is the one, man. <laughs> Dude jumped out of like a four story building to flat. Jamie Foy's, like I said, that just comes with the pay to play game, man. Zion Wright has a really good one too. Have you seen his one? He's like 50s a rail and he just like back flips. The most famous skateboarding slam is happening continuously. Continuously people are slamming and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the slamming world. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that was... 
That was the heaviest slam we've ever seen. Yeah.